Hey guys! In today's video, I'll be reviewing the top 8 best premium stereo speaker. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 8 in my list is Klitsch Fort 3 Stereo Speaker. Since 1985, the Fort Floor standing speakers from Klipsch have been the gold standard for home entertainment. The Fort 3 speakers hope to build on the success of the ones that came before it. These stereo speakers sound fantastic. Klipsch's attention to detail on the fine tuning of the speakers is second to none, making way for a clear and intricate mid high range. They're also phenomenally designed and built, making a great addition to basically any living room. They are also very heavy, which can be a blessing and a curse. Once you figure out their place in the living room, these speakers aren't going anywhere. These speakers are built for bass, with a 12-inch subwoofer and a massive 15-inch passive radiator in the back of the speaker to help disperse the low frequencies. To get the most out of the bass speakers on these towers, you need to run two separate amps, or a single amp with multiple outs that is strong enough to get the subwoofer moving. Having separated or bi-amp control allows the user to control the power sent to the high and low channels, allowing them to get the exact balance they want. Number 7 in my list is Key EF LSX2 Stereo Speaker. These little speakers have a pretty big price tag, but these aren't just a pair of speakers. There's HENI ARCs and USB-C, Ethernet, analog and digital inputs here. And there's a pre-out for a subwoofer and CAT5 for wiring a pair together. If you do decide to wire them up, you get up to 24-bit slash 384 kilohertz and DSD 256. Wireless connection down samples to 24-bit slash 48 kilohertz. The sound quality on offer from the Key EF LSX2 is spectacular. With rich mids, detailed highs, and surprisingly punchy bass for speakers so small and you can always use that subwoofer out if you need more low-end thump. Unless your source material is pretty poorly recorded or very low bitrate, the sound here is immersive and incredibly enjoyable. These aren't for filling massive rooms with sound, but if you want to turn a workstation into a high-quality listening station, these speakers will excite and delight, no matter what kind of music you're listening to. And with five very distinct finishes, they'll look great with any kind of decor too. Number 6 in my list is Q Acoustics 3030 i Stereo Speaker. The Q Acoustics 3030 is are the largest of the three stand mounters in the 3000i range and latest to receive a glowing 5-star review. Give these boxes a few days to sell, and they produce a sound that's familiar yet surprisingly muscular compared to other Q Acoustics speakers. Like the other speakers in this 3000 range, these are impressively cohesive performers with a smooth tonal balance and easy-going nature. There's impressive weight at the low end, but bass remains well integrated and controlled. Dynamics are impressive and they stay composed when asked to work hard at high volume. Detailed, rhythmic and ultimately rewarding, they're a great addition to the speaker market at this price. Number 5 in my list is Wharfdale Evo 4.4 Stereo Speaker. These are the biggest and preciest offerings in the Wharfdale's Evo range and are packed full of so much technology that we had to double-check the price. The Air Motion Transformer Tweeter is normally reserved for much more expensive speakers, while the Dome Midrange and Twin Kevlar Bass Drivers also set these floor standards apart from the crowd. It won't come as a surprise that these relatively big speakers produce a large-scale sound with plenty of authority that's capable of going nice and loud but they also deliver transparency and subtlety, helping to ensure a natural, easy-going presentation. There are three finish options, black, white, and walnut. Build quality is good for the price, and the elegant curves of the cabinet add a touch of class. Some clever bracing and damping minimize resonance. Rivals such as the excellent Fine Audio F501 might sound a little more exciting, but over a longer listen, the Evo 4.4's easier-going presentation is more natural and convincing. A superb pair of premium floor standards that get better with every listen. Number 4 in my list is Wharfdale Diamond 12.1 Stereo Speaker. Wharfdale started with a clean sheet here, and it shows. Pretty much everything is new, from the drive units to the cabinet construction.
The result is a pair of compact 31 cm tall boxes that have the ability to make the most of price-compatible hi-fi components. Their sound is organized, cohesive, and musical. They deliver an impressively expansive soundstage for the money that stays stable even when recordings become layered and demanding. We like the reassuring way the diamonds handle larger scale dynamics too, delivering more authority and scale than one might expect for speakers of a modest size and price. This is a tough area of the market, however, and Wharfdale's superb speakers aren't short of talented rivals, such as the brilliant Elac Debbie B5.2. Still, the impressive Diamond 12.1 deserve a place on anyone's shortlist. Number 3 in my list is Elac Debbie B5.2 Stereo Speaker. Elac's affordable stand mounters are brilliant performers for the money. Solid and unfussy about placement, the Debbie B5.2s have the dynamic expression, detail, and tonal sophistication to handle anything you throw at them. Not to mention enough stretch in their abilities to improve even further when hooked up to a high-end system. The revised 5.25 cm mid-bass unit uses a new blend of air mid-fibers for the cone, combined with a different shape to improve stiffness and damping. While the tweeter claims a top-end response of 35 Kurtz, adding plenty of sparkle to proceedings. Tonally, they don't have the luscious midrange warmth of the comparable Dolly Speaker 2 below, but they're admirably balanced and capable of making the best of any recording, even those of poor quality. Elac has been in the speaker business since the 1980s and has made many fine products in that time. It's fair to say that these new Debbie B5.2 speakers should be considered one of the company's finest efforts. For this sort of money, they're exceptional. Number two in my list is Wharfdale Diamond 12.3 Stereo Speaker. Wharfdale's Diamond range now features a truly outstanding and affordable floor stander. Indeed, we're so impressed by the Wharfdale Diamond 12.3's musical performance that it's now a two-time What Hi-Fi award winner. At 98 centimeters tall, the Diamond 12.3 aren't a particularly imposing pair of floor standers, so they'll fit into most spaces. Sonically, they're smooth, even-handed, and wonderfully refined for the money. Feed them a poor signal, and they'll round off rough edges and downplay unwanted aggression without sounding like they're smothering the life out of the music. As for build quality, the cabinets are carefully crafted with a traditional straight-edge design and a tidy feed arrangement. The 12.3 are available in four finishes, black, walnut, white, and a classy light oak, all of which belie their relatively modest price tag. If you're looking for reasonably priced hi-fi speakers, the talented Wharfdale 12.3 are a superb buy. Number one in my list is Key F A L S 50 Meta Stereo Speaker. The original LS50 speakers had little wrong with them, but after eight years, Kia figured they deserved a fresh look. And with the LS50 Meta, they have delivered a worthy upgrade. The LS50's UniQ driver array, where the tweeter sits in the throat of the mid-slashed bass unit, has been thoroughly reworked. Taking in all the refinements that KEF has developed over the past eight years and adding something new in the form of metamaterial absorption technology, MAT. KEF's way of coping with the sound that comes off the back of the tweeter dome, a plastic circular maze of tubes on the back promising greater absorption for cleaner, less distorted highs. While the basic sonic character is instantly familiar, the meta speakers have gained a level of clarity and finesse the originals only hinted at, sounding clean while still offering muscle and dynamics. We've loved the originals and the LS50 meta takes the performance to a notably higher and award-winning level. Outright guys, this we are today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video, and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for amazing and coming videos. Be sure to check out the link in the description for updated price of all the products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.